All right, let's see. It is time for another daily tangle. Uh, we're gonna do heart and flower. <clears throat> um, not sure what, how I'm gonna go with this yet, but uh, step number one, you draw yourself a heart. Mine is going to end up rather organic because I know that I do not make a very uh, consistent heart shape, but that's okay. Uh, underneath the heart, you'll put a little circle. Around that, you will do petal shapes. Okay. And then you'll put another heart at the bottom and connect them. So you make yourself a chain of little hearts and flowers. You can use it as a border, um, various different things. I may just do a couple like that and just do them across my page here. See what we end up with. Um, I might just make one big one in the middle. I think, I think that's how I'm I'm uh, aiming for today. All right, so you wanna, I'm actually, I think I'm going to put the, the circle kind of in the middle of my page. And then I'm gonna draw the heart here. Just so that I'm kind of in the middle. And then you want to do your petal shapes around here. I think I'm going to over kind of overlap them so they're coming out of the heart like that. going not anywhere near even but that's okay all right so I've I've gone a little outside the box cuz you know that's what I do I just may leave it just like that. I like, I like, I like the look of that. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to aura the whole thing. I could have done the petals more regular petal like, you know, around. But I really kind of like the way that looks. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to aura it one more time. And in here, I'm going to put... Some little stripey. Stripey bits going around my heart. 
my flower. And I think I'm gonna make my inside of my thing with an aura. I think I'm just gonna go up like this. I like this look. I've done it before. Where you just kind of put a, a line and a dot. I just And you know what? I think I'm gonna call it done. I, I know that's really super simple, not like I usually do, but I'm, I'm feeling like it's finished. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shade it and I'll be finished with it. As a matter of fact, I might put a little Somebody suggested I try some color pencil for shading. Not sure the color pencil is going to work, but I've got these metallic ones. And some of these colors didn't work very well on the dark, so I'm going to try it with the, on the light and see what happens. very light. It's hard to see. I feel like it needs to be more darker color, but I don't have my, have my color pencils nearby. That is the problem of having to clean up your stuff. It's that you lose just having easy access to things that you need. I wonder if I colored this in more thoroughly with the whatever this color is. It doesn't have a number or name. Maybe if I colored it all in. Try this. We're going to give this a different Different try. It's getting too dark to record, I think. Sun is gone on the wrong side of the house and it's not getting a lot of light coming in this window. So I may just have to be done for the day. It's my marathon drawing day. I think I've done six or seven videos today. I don't even remember. I'm stopped keeping track. I don't know if these colored pencils will manipulate well with the with the uh, blending stump. I'm gonna have to try that and see what happens. I'm just gonna just gonna go for it here. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? It's colored in a color I don't like. Right? Isn't that the worst that can happen? Absolutely. Okay, so I gave it just a light bit of color. Not a lot. I'm gonna try this blending stump and see what happens. Oh yeah, that smooths it out quite a bit. You might not even be able to tell because it's so light. It's not a very dark color. I'm 
kind of a light purple. But it does blend pretty well, actually. So maybe I can find another color that I can use as the shading color. Blended it nicely though. Okay, that was unexpected. That blended nicely. Okay, so now it's got a nice kind of a purpley pinky color as its base. Um, I wonder if I can try this kind of silvery, dark silver color. work. Let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna try that. See what see what it does. outside part in gold what the heck I feel like it needs some blue in there too maybe I'll get the blue out It's hard to tell from my angle from where I'm sitting if I'm getting a good coverage. And I look up into the camera and it looks like I'm not, but maybe it'll blend with the blending stump and it'll, it'll all come out good. But with the metallics and where I've got my light situated, it's just, it's just bouncing off and I can't really see it well. zoomed in too. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole thing. Okay, let's see what that will do. Use the other side. Oh, that works good, huh? Just 
burnishes it all right into the paper. Very sparkly. Kind of a fun thing. Well, I can tell you this, when I first looked at the pattern, turned on my phone and looked at the pattern, this is not what I had in my head. But you know. And your art takes you wherever it's gonna take you. It's a journey. Okay, that, that came out cool. Much better than I had anticipated. All right, so now I want a blue. Let's try this blue. And I wanna do like a, a purpley blue. Almost like a highlight. I know it's a dark color. It's not really light, like a white. But I want it on that side. Like a reflected, reflected blue light. Something like that. I think I need to clean off my blending stump though. Okay. of my white pencil. It's the only color pencil I have that's not the metallic in my little stash here on my table. I think I might bring it out and just do a little bit of highlights. I'm not sure that's going to even show up. doesn't really show up, but maybe it shows up on the screen better than it does in real life because, like I said, uh, the light is at a weird angle. It's not coming in the window like it was, so I have to rely on the, on the lamp. And the lamp is it's just giving me some strange cleaning off my... Cleaning off my stump again, just using a little emery board. I'm just gonna give that a quick, quick blend. I'm not sure if that really did any good or not, but I'm gonna blend it anyway, just so in case during the regular daylight, I look at it again, I can see. That's kind of pretty. Definitely not what I had anticipated. Not a normal thing. But, you know, out of the ordinary is not out of the ordinary, is it? Oops. That was supposed to go back in the box. Okay. So that is put away. There is today's heart and flower. I think I'm done for the day. My paper kind of curled a little bit. There you go. I think I am done for the day. Get it all zoomed in here so you guys can see it 
really cold. And uh, I think that's it. You guys have a blessed day. I think I am done for the day because I'm running out of sunshine. And I will see you guys later. It's time to go upload all of these videos I've done today. See ya.